say on their events, some of the high level content they have actually added in uh, new mission types for people that are at the elite re level and you know, high rank ranking missions. So there is content for higher players as well, which is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. But I mean, the, the whole, you know, because people are talking about what do you do once there's an end game. And it's, it's nice that it's not just about that. I've also had a look in some of the outfitting things, and I s I've not had a chance to do any of them yet, obviously, because it's only just out. But there are a lot more missions there now, and it looks like you need very, a lot more different rankings of different things. So you need mm. to be like a, a scout in exploring or something like that ah. before it will give you the mission. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, and it that's looks, it also looks, in this sense, like a good idea that yeah. you can get certain missions if you're just starting out you're ranking with them so they'll go and get you to do propaganda but then maybe a bit later on there's something a little bit more in depth with propaganda so that interesting. sounds interesting yeah of course that was one of the big updates is a complete mission system overhaul so it's, it's nice to see that come into effect now I, i'm gonna have to play with this a lot more one of the things that i was a little bit worried about with the parapet thing we, we touched on this earlier on to me ben was that um if i'm accepting things from a bulletin board i just really nearly just kind of pick the one with the <laughs> the highest the highest credit was oh uh, yeah that one 150 credit. yeah i'll have that one not looking at the faction that it's uh, aligned to um of course that's going to be a problem now ongoing that if i want to be working up my faction status with someone in particular and i accidentally click away yeah that could get tricky now so yeah, 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 but no, politics is important. You gotta, you gotta make sure you're not working for the uh, Jet family. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, and I've, I've always maintained how <laughs> I would just work for whoever pays the highest. Now that's kind of put a wrench in my plan. I'm gonna have to be really, <laughs> really careful. What's really, what's really Posted in the the elites elite social group on Facebook, so I'm afraid I can't I can't give any credit for who's created this thing because it is genuinely brilliant. Um, so I hope that someone will send us a message and say, oh yeah, this is you know this is our website. So basically, it's an interactive web page that allows you to pick a ship, and you can basically just from this this web page you can just change around all the components for the for the ship. And it, of course, unlike when you actually visit you know, a shipyard in the game, this this website has a complete list of all the available modules, so you can really play around. And I think I was, um, let's see if I can find my screenshot I grabbed, because I uh, I basically kitted out a code with something like six million credits worth of upgrades. I really just gave it, there, there's things that this website has basically shown me exist in the game. amazing course is looking at the, the hull boosting so I managed to get this Cobra's hull rating up to about 350 um, <laughs> with a with a 60% shield boost and you know basically I, I basically just picked the most expensive components I could find um, across the sort of Cobra range and yeah about I got it up to about five or six seven million credits uh, and it's just a beast um, yeah. so it's, it's interesting that those because one, if I have a criticism of the way Elite Dangerous works, I still find the ship outfitting completely bewildering in game. <laughs> yeah. And this one website tool has completely revolutionised my understanding of how the upgrades for the ships work. Yeah, and I, I think the nice thing about it is, is it's you've got all of the options there to toy around with. You don't have to search around because the problem is in the in the game is you have to go and find the sources where you can get these things. You have to earn the money to get the ship and play around with all the stuff before you can see whether or not it's going to work and how it affects your stats. This just gives you a nice simple view uh, and it just tells you all of that information straight off, doesn't it? It makes it really simple to see what's going on. 
It almost, it almost gives you a road map of what to buy, and you mm. can kind of figure out what you need to do. Yeah, it, uh, it lets you set a goal for your outfitting, of, well, in effect, doesn't it? It's, it's yeah. sounding very much like E.D. Shipyard. What's the differences between the Well, two? I mean, it's got a nice visual style to it. I mean, it fits in with the, the in-game herd, got the same kind of fonts and styles to the, uh, the colour scheme and all that kind of stuff. But the most important thing, I think, is it's, it's, an, it's a nice layout. It's a, it's a much easier layout to see what's going on. Uh, much more informative, at a glance kind of view of the of the ships, but it's also got the ability to look at other people's suggested builds. I mean, that looks like that functionality is currently disabled, but there's there's a plan there to add in uh, suggested builds from the community, compare it to other people's builds. Much more kind of a collaborative community kind of thing. It reminds me a lot of the old uh, World of Warcraft armory websites. Uh, that, that kind of thing. So I think that's going to be interesting to see how people come up with suggested loads and things like that at a later date and how they, uh, how they compare to other people's loads. So uh, yeah, interesting. So uh, moving on to the thing, we should give a, a quick shout out to all of the, the commanders in game. Ben, do you want to uh, just uh, shout yeah, out to so everyone in beta? Quick shout out to the other beta commanders who've made it in. So that'll be to Arlo Grizzy, Goose4291, Icefire, Javertz, Mindwipe, and Selfire have been flying around outside of Lave Station in, in showing off their their diamond backs and their Imperial Clippers. No, Couriers. Imperial Couriers. <laughs> <laughs> too many Imperial ships. Oh, that's confusing. Confusing. <laughs> and I'll, I'll save you from the, trying to read out the names in the IRC chat, Ben. We'll give a shout out to all you guys who've been chatting away in the IRC. Uh, we've got... Penguin, Archimboust, Alien Pickle, Bapster, Flaxton, Paul Archer, Commander Thane. Oh, I know Commander Thane. I know that guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Commander Lodvar, Fiverr, Highbite, Ian W. Astrodamus, Icefire122, Javert, Jintosh, some guy called Crash, Mashbud, Mindwipe, Mr. Tea Time, Neo Teo, Nilzen, Phoenix Defire, Commander Psycho K was there, Ripped, SLS, Starren, Tubby, Ventura, Zenoic, and Stophammer. You guys... <laughs> Starian? That was an old game, wasn't it? That was an old Amiga game or something, like uh, a bit like um, Starglider or something. Wasn't Starian a bit like that? Oh, I'm racking my brains now to remember that. And I'm also curious to know if Tubby, whether that's Fragland Tubby. <laughs> you, have us, you have to give us a wave if it's Tubby from Fragland. Starian just said it's a specky game. It was a specky game. I knew it was something oh. like that, yeah. I was trying to, trying to I, could, I could see the image in my eye, in my eyes, but oh, I just no. Oh. Yeah, you guys love making these crazy names to make it really difficult to pronounce. I do. I, I apologise if I mix the pronunciation of uh, of your names there, but we try our best. We try our best. <laughs> also, I think Mr. Tea Time is it not Tiatame? Is, is it not a uh, is it not a Terry Pratchett reference? Oh, is it? Right. I am sorry. Oh. No, 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 no. It's, it's <laughs> If it was the real Tiatame, he would, of course, murdered you with a knife. Uh, yeah, true. His name wrong, but, uh, <laughs> but... Yeah, so difficult to get these names all right, isn't it? Yeah, yes, anyway. So, yeah, another quick shout-out to the things, obviously, uh, most important thing we can give a shout-out for. There's, there's a certain event coming up on the 11th and 12th of July in the Sedgwick Hall Hotel. Have you guys heard of this up in North Lancashire? I was going to give it a miss. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, sure. Lavecon, Lavecon 2015. Oh, woo! This is going to be the third Lavecon. I can't. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Bigger and better than ever. Absolutely, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. So yeah, I, I cannot wait to get there. Going to have some, uh, going to have some fun. It's going to be nice just to chill with you guys and uh, and uh, give, a, give a just 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 buy you guys some beers for once. You know, just chill it. Hopefully, we'll have some time to do that. I know last time it was just so crazy. I didn't get a chance to talk to you guys at all. So uh, yeah, it'd be really really good to to get in touch with you guys and uh, just chill out for once. It'll be nice, won't it? Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, absolutely. And plus, there's loads to do. So much stuff going on. I, I haven't checked the schedule again in a, in, a, in a couple of days, so hopefully Karen hasn't added, like, dozens more things that we all need to be doing. But <laughs> Yeah, so, no, it, it, it's, it's great. Can't wait, can't wait. It's going to be really, really good fun. Uh, although there's another little shout-out, which I noticed we haven't got. I forgot to put on our uh, show notes. Um, Lisa, who's obviously not here, so I can't do it for it. She's currently got on her website where she does game reviews for and things. Uh, she currently has a competition uh, for a giveaway of endless space, which is a Rex Retracting landing gear. Expansion to the game. Um, she's going to do a giveaway competition on the launch of the Rex. Um, if you're interested in, in that game, head over to boozereview.com and uh, yeah, join in the fun. Yeah, this game is a couple of weeks in the competition. Be
Beast! 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 Frame shift drive engaging. If you guys want to check that out, we can go through some stuff. There's only questions you want to ask. We'll give it a demo. Yeah. Folks, I think that's it for another episode of Lave Radio. So if you'd like to get in touch with the show, you can email us info at laveradio.com. Get in touch with us on Facebook slash Lave Radio. Or you can just get out of us on Twitter at Lave Radio. You can join in with the Skype chat channel by adding Fozzo101 to your Skype contacts. Or you can join in the TeamSpeak server where the commanders like to come and hang out and chat. You can get there on laveradio.teamspeak3.com. So thank you very much, Chris and Ben, and all the commanders that have joined us outside Lave Station tonight. And until next time, fly safe. And if you can't do that, fly dangerous. User joined your channel. Microphone activated. Diverting power to requested systems. <laughs>